Hello and welcome to the NAICS Code Tutorial Series by Class Codes. This series is designed to help you become a NAICS Code Expert. Showing here is a list of all the videos in this series. We have provided links to all these videos in the description below. Today, we'll be going over the conceptual framework of NAICS. NAICS is based on a production-oriented or supply-based conceptual framework in which establishments are grouped into industries according to similarity in the production processes used to produce goods and services. The production process refers to a combination of inputs, such as capital, labor, energy, materials, and services, used in the production of outputs, i.e. goods and services. A production-oriented industry classification system ensures that statistical agencies in the three countries can produce information on inputs and outputs, industrial performance, productivity, unit labor costs, employment, and other statistics that reflect structural changes occurring in the three economies. The boundaries that differentiate industries, in principle, will have differences in input structures and production technologies. This means that, in the language of economics, producing units within an industry have similar production functions that differ from those of producing units in other industries. I would like to quickly add that if you have any questions regarding this video, please ask in the comments section below. And of course, likes are very much appreciated. Moving on, the unit of observation of the industrial classification is the producing unit or establishment. The industrial classification groups these producing units, not products. Grouping producing units in this way enables the collection of data on inputs and outputs on a comparable basis. Because establishments each produce a number of products in different combinations and using different technologies, it's hardly possible to group all establishments producing a particular product. Therefore, it is more useful to use a production-oriented approach to group establishments into industries based on common input structures. This method permits the compilation of comprehensive data on the total output of each product by industry and across all industries. In contrast, the various versions of the SIC and the ISIC have used mixed criteria to create the industries of the classifications. Thank you so much for watching. Now that you've learned about the conceptual framework of NAICS, you can continue your journey to become a NAICS Code Expert by watching the next video in this series, The Structure of NAICS.